While it is true that, as humans, we lack the enzymes to digest fiber, not all fiber comes out the other end. That's where your microbes come in. They have the specialized enzymes that we humans lack. Their presence in your colon turns you into a superhuman with the ability to deconstruct your fiber. In doing so, they create powerful anti-inflammatory molecules, short-chain fatty acids, SCFAs, acetate, propionate, and butyrate. These SCFAs are the medicine our bodies crave. They immediately get to work right there in the colon. They enhance the growth of the good guy bacteria like lactobacilli, bifidobacteria, and prevotella. They directly suppress bad guy bacteria like E. coli and salmonella. Butyrate serves as the principal source of energy for healthy colon cells. They increase the expression of tight junction proteins lining the colon, reducing intestinal permeability and effectively reversing leaky gut. An absence of short-chain fatty acids has been described in the setting of colorectal cancer, our second most deadly cancer. On closer inspection, we find that cancer cells are actually hypersensitive to SCFAs and will program themselves for destruction in a process called apoptosis when met with SCFAs. The SCFAs act like a targeted missile for colon cancer prevention. Baroom! Beyond the colon, SCFAs inhabit inflammatory signaling molecules and activate regulatory T cells to optimize the immune system. They reduce blood pressure, lower cholesterol, enhance insulin sensitivity, and activate satiety hormones to let us know when we are full. Patients with symptomatic coronary artery disease have been found to have depleted levels of butyrate-producing gut bacteria. SCFAs alter breast cancer cells and appear to make them less invasive. Basically, these last two paragraphs lay out how getting more SCFAs from dietary fiber explains the most powerful findings from Dr. Reynolds' study that we just discussed. Fiber is getting sexier by the moment here. If you dig into the medical literature, as I have, you will start feeling like SCFAs are popping up everywhere. Not just gut health, but studies involving the immune system too. For example, one of the burning questions of the COVID-19 pandemic was why one person can carry the virus symptom-free while another crashes into the ICU with cardiopulmonary failure. Given the strong connection between the gut and the immune system, 70% of the immune system lines the intestine. I had my suspicion that the gut was once again in play. The answer came in January 2021 in the journal Gut when they compared the gut microbiome of those with COVID-19 to healthy controls. They found that people with COVID-19 were harboring more inflammatory microbes and missing anti-inflammatory microbes. These changes became more pronounced as COVID-19 severity got worse, correlated with inflammation in the body, and persisted even after the infection cleared. Basically, the disturbed microbial pattern was creating inflammation, and that inflammation was behind the severe manifestations of COVID-19.